and we hear gunshots. Welcome back to another mukbang. Oh, where are you sleeping? Today we're having some mini pork ribs and some salsa roja. So some spicy pork ribs sitting on a bit of rice. My mom made this and she brought me some, so yummy. And then we have some healthy infused pineapple water. Let's try this rice. Mom told me it was spicy, so we'll see. Mmm, it is spicy. Who is she trying to kill with this? Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you guys about the time that We had a home invasion in our house. And I was pregnant. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. So like I said, this took place when we were living in Richmond, California family like Jonathan myself and Isaac and then it was his brother and his family so it was his brother his his wife and her, their two kids and then it was um and then it was his other brother so we all lived in one house and uh you know um uh, we were like it was pretty chill I was working at Taco Bell and I would walk to work sometimes I mean when we decided to move to Richmond I had never heard of the city of that you know like little town but everyone that we told they were like oh that's like you know that's like a bad town it's like really dangerous and I was like well you know his brothers were already living there and we were gonna move over there with them <clears throat> but like I said everything was chill we were there for a cool minute a few months maybe half a year Something around there. And then um, his brothers <coughs> and Jonathan and then one of his brother's um, brother-in-law, they were like, they would come and we would have like barbecues outside and then like the front was like gated and everything. Um, but they started to notice that, you know, like cars would like drive by really slow. And then like, um, but they, at first we didn't, like nobody thought too much of it because there was a stop sign literally right in front of the house. Like we were at the corner and there was a stop sign right there. So I don't know, we thought we were like, maybe it's just, you know, cause there's a stop sign there. But you know, it started getting a little more like suspect and they started to pay a little more attention to it. And like at night when we would go inside, they would look out the window and there was like cars posted in front of our house and they were just like watching the house basically. And my grandma lived in Modesto, so I had my grandma in Modesto, and my sister later, um, my sister lived in Modesto as well, and then Jonathan's parents lived in Modesto and his other brother. So like we all had family out in Modesto. So on like our days off, on um, sometimes we would drive down, and it was like a two-hour drive. And one night, you know, like, it started getting more frequent where the cars would, like, pass by. And we didn't have, like, nobody in the house had problems with anybody in, like, the town or anything. So we were, like, really, like, confused. And, you know, we called the cops, let them know about the cars, but they didn't do too much about it. Um... One night, we, we called the cops one night because it started getting really like, it was, 
multiple cars that were like and people that were like watching the house on foot and in cars and there was like multiple cars parked out front just watching the house and like I said we had kids in the house so it started like getting a little scary like I said I was pregnant um, it was a two-story house so that night um, they called the cops the cops didn't do much they sent an officer out the officer took a report and that was it. Um, uh, he said that they would patrol the area, but like I said, they didn't do anything because no one, pretty much like officers can't do anything unless there's like something actually done. Like if someone actually shot at the house or something, you know? So they patrolled the house, I guess, for a little bit. Not that they, they didn't patrol the house, they just patrolled like the neighborhood, and that was it. And then, um, so that later, I don't, I can't remember exactly if it was later that night. I think it was that night, but this had been going, going on for like days. And then one night, I can't remember if it was the same night that we called the officer, but we noticed there was cars, and um, they, uh, Jonathan had to go to work, so he went to work, and it was already, like, he would leave for work, like, he, like, he would get up, like, at four in the morning, because he had to be at work at six, so he left early one morning to go to work, and his brother stayed home, and his, um, his brother's brother-in-law was home, and then it was me, uh, my sister-in-law, and then the kids, so it was Isaac, and then his two cousins, and that night we all slept in our room so like um the kids myself and my sister-in-law we all slept in my room because they stayed up all night just watching and you know making sure no one broke in or anything and it was maybe like five in the morning five five thirty maybe six in the morning and i had finally fallen asleep like i was awake all night because i was like just in case anything happens like i'm quick i can get isaac and we're out right and I had just fallen asleep. Like I said, I was pregnant, so I was tired. Um, I had just fallen asleep. Isaac was asleep. He slept throughout the night just fine. And we hear gunshots. We hear a gunshot. And I got up so fast because the gunshot, it's it, like it popped right next to the door of our room. And I was like, yo, what just happened? And I get up and I like, I, I hug Isaac and, um, and then... I think it was um, my brother-in-law's brother-in-law that re that came into the room and he was like, get the kids, go into the bathroom. And we had a bathroom in our room because we were in the master bedroom. And we just get the kids and we barricade them in the bathtub. And, and I'm just sitting there and I'm like, what's going on? Like, what's happening? And they're like, we heard someone downstairs, you know, we, hear, we heard their phone ring. And then they're like, we yelled them for them to get out. And we like saw like a door open because the, there was like a pantry. And that they saw that door open and that they shot and they shot like two three rounds and one of them like you could see it because they were upstairs on the balcony shooting and we called the cops and the the cop the cops came right away because you know obviously shots were fired and the cops were like you know okay is anyone in the house we're like we don't know like we sh we heard Mama. the phone ring huh yeah baby yeah. okay um we're like, we don't know, you know, the we shot a gun. We don't know if they ran out. We don't know what, but we need you to come, like, now because we have kids in the house, you know? So the cops come, and they're speaking to us through um, through that air horn thing. And they're like, come out. And then and we were, I was like, we were, like, I was in shock in the bathroom just with the kids. And then so it was my sis, uh We were still in the room, and then my brother-in-law and his brother-in-law were still like out right outside our room but with our door was closed and i was texting jonathan i was like yo like they shot a gun i was like i don't know what's going on i guess someone's in the house and he was and he was like panicking and i was like i don't know what's going on i was like i was texting him back i was like i don't know what's going on we're in the bathroom with the kids and um i was like the cops are here but they're not doing anything they want us to come downstairs i was like uh and we didn't want to go downstairs because we don't know if someone was down there so they um the cops are not wanting to come in and they want us to come out and they're like okay drop whatever weapons you guys have out the window so we dropped them out the window 
uh, well, they dropped them out the window into the, um, it was into like our front yard, but on the side. And then the cops, you know, they come in. Finally, like after five minutes of freaking, of uh, my sister-in-law talking to the cops and saying, you know, my, my brother and my husband don't want to come outside. They're like, we don't know if someone is still downstairs. They're like, but we need you guys to like come in here. Can you like come in and check? They're like, um, our weapons are all outside. That's not us anymore, you know? So the cops finally come inside, you know, it's SWAT and they're all checking all inside the house and they get us, they make us all come out with like our hands up one at a time out the door. You know, I'm holding Isaac cause like, he's barely one. No, he barely turned one. I think it was freaking crazy. We didn't have shoes on and they make us cross the street and then they check the whole house and they, and we had like two doors to enter inside the house. We didn't have a back door because um, there was like someone that was living on the back of the house because it was like closed. But there was two entrances, one on the side and one in the front. So we we think that the person, you know, after they shot, that they ran out like the side door. But uh, they didn't find anyone inside. They questioned all of us one by one, you know, and we let them know you know and they had a previous report from us calling and letting them know someone was like watching the house but come to find out you know the day after because we ended up just you know packing all our crap and going down to modesto and we just freaking like we left that house and when we were leaving i kid you guys not someone they were following us and it was like two to three cars of just black guys and they were they were following us and i can i will never remember I mean, I'll never, I will never forget because one of them passed right, like was right next to, um, next to our car when we were when we were driving. And we were on the freeway and we were like booking it, and they were chasing us. And the guy looked me dead in my eyes, and I will never forget that look. I I felt like I saw the freaking devil. But you know, after we came, we left that same night. We left. We took whatever we could, and we left. And then we came back like maybe two three days after during the day to get all of our like the rest of the stuff that we left but my brother-in-law spoke to our neighbors because we come back two three days later and our neighbors that were you know previously there are gone like they left that same night that we left no was it that same night or maybe a day before that we left they left and they had kids too they freaking vanished and later come to find out my brother-in-law was like asking the new neighbors they're like oh you guys just moved in they're like yeah i guess you know our previous neighbors the ones that left before we did they had gang problems and the gang confused our house for it being their house and that's why you know they were coming for us and it's like wow like that's really messed up like they knew they had kids and like they let us basically take the fall for it but thank it's okay baby but thank God everyone was okay. Like we came out safe, but it was crazy. Like that's the time that we had like a home invasion with like our kids. No, you don't need anything from in there. It was crazy, but like I said, at least everyone was safe. The cops were, no candy, I'm making you fries. The cops were like making, a, when they were questioning us, they were like, are you sure there was someone in here? My brother-in-law was like, yeah, like their phone was ringing downstairs, but it was crazy. Um, I'm just glad we're all safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I didn't eat much, um, but I'm going to make Isaac some food. <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed this story time. We'll catch you next time. Bye. This drink is good. My mom gets down. Mm. I'm going to rinse these bones and give them to Rodeo. I'm gonna rinse them and wash them because I guess they can't have spicy food.